So, and uh, and in the next day, today only uh, the Vasco team had also went for search for new uh, second accused, and the Vasco team had uh, you know they found a success and they also got second accused. Second accused name is uh, uh, Ravindra, son of Gorilla Srinivetu, age 25 years. He is also resident of 25 uh, to know this. Name. So the you know connection between both them, both the accused is that they are cousins, they are friends. And this Ravindra is involved in illegal illegal liquor smuggling in Raichur, Raichur and Hampi parts of Karnataka. And these two and also this Vijay, the prime accused probably he is the uh, he is he is uh, he goes with him in this business and he is also daily casual trader. So these two people had come to Goa for leisure trip, and they, these two people uh, came to Goa. 19th, 19th of April, and they, yeah, 19th, 9th, 20th April morning, 4, 4 a.m. they came here, and uh, yeah, Vasco railway station they came and we, they consumed liquor, they slept around that, uh, you know, uh, slept around the temple, Sai Baba Tabor temple railway station ke pass. So next next morning, on 21st of April, now, now we come at the motive of the crime. So these two people, got fresh and went to Khariwada beach during afternoon while returning from Khariwada we noticed one lady standing outside her house Vijay and Ravindra then sat next to the said lady house and observed her movement and then they noticed that she was residing alone in her house at this time they had consumed alcohol next to the house next to the house that the bar that I was referring to and after finishing our drink they entered the house of the said lady with the intentions to commit robbery. But the lady suddenly approached uh, approached them, and during the, the, there was a little scuffle, and lady shouted, and and they they were planning to tie her up and rob her jewelry also, and then the rest of the household items. But the lady uh, lady shouted, and in the in a fit of the moment, because they these two got afraid, they you know suffocated her throat and also uh, slated also both the both the things happened. So that's how she died. And then they ran away from that place. Not ran away, they actually walked very casually. They were not actually running away as far as CCTV is concerned. So this is what uh, this is the you know story. And PM report also said the same thing that the cause of death is asphyxia as a, as a result of constriction of neck, wide injury number one, and also in the asphyxia at the chest. So this is the whole story, and we have arrested both the accused. So this was a very heinous and very blind case. And uh, said the accused number one Vijay, and he has been granted police custody for seven days. And uh, you know the second accused Ravindra, he is on the way. Uh, he will come probably by the night. And uh, I really, uh, we, I really commend the team of the Vasco Police Station, which is, which did a commendable job today in nabbing the Ravindra, the second accused. It was led by head constable Satosh Bhatkar. Rohan BTA Kovekar, Ravi Kumar Kavali, and Ashi Saru. And everything was done under the supervision of SDP Vasco and SP Saugo and also under SP. Thank you. SP, you don't know about senior citizens who are living alone. She was, living, she was living alone. Any message from the police side for senior citizens? Yes, uh, we have, uh, we already have at our register 116 uh, people who are living alone like this. And our bit staff have been occasionally, frequently visiting them. In case they have any issues, they can call up 100 number and always tell about. They should keep in touch with their family members also in case of any need. Uh, but by and large, I would say like not to keep the doors open uh, as, well, uh, as far as possible when they are alone in the house. And definitely, as we have seen in this case, the door was not closed. The door was open. This lady was alone, and uh, as per the passerby and one who came, uh, we had come to know that these people were uh, were in front of her house for a long time watching her. So, in case they find such type of suspicious people or anybody finds such type of suspicious people loitering around without any cause, without any uh, reference, definitely they need to be informing the police about it. Just dial hundred number. The within five seven minutes. Our uh, PCR vehicles will come and we will take the position. Madam, uh, one last question is that uh, 
you said that the motive was uh, robbery. But if you go on this side, none of the gold was uh, stolen. Yes. Secondly, you said they were startled, but they casually walked out of the house. You think there could be more to this? Yes. See, our, as accused have been just snapped, as we said, just in the afternoon, we have seven days police custody demand. Our interrogations are on. The second accused is, has started from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, maybe by 3 o'clock, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., they will reach. We will obtain a remand for the, him also, and interrogation will take place. We are investigating from all sides to know the motive, but presently, prima facie, the motive what has been established is of the robbery. So the, they wanted to tie this lady as per their uh, disclosure and to take away the gold. But the lady shouted and that was even we had also gone and seen the lady was in the front room of the house, not at the back. So these people, they wanted to go inside and tie so that, you know, outside nobody, no shout could be heard. But they were intercepted at the front only and then this lady shouted. So with that split, they have this thing and maybe definitely when the blood was started oozing out they start they even use the cloth to see that the blood is uh, uh, control. controlled but they couldn't control the blood couldn't because it was a slit on the neck and definitely there was a profuse bleeding and so definitely at that particular point of time they must have really got uh, horrified, horrified. and and definitely as we have seen these uh, CCTV footage, one of the accused we could see, both of them, they have come from the side, that is they have gone back side of the house and then they have come out on the road. So they have not come from the front also. So under these circumstances, it appears that it is the, the, the motive is of robbery. So it is a robbery gone wrong? Which ended up yes, the robbery went wrong. And they were fully drunk that time? They were fully drunk. Thank you. Efforts done by crime branch and by our local Vasco police, we have been continuously monitoring them. One attempt of us uh, immediately through the crime branch was foiled, I would say. Somehow they came to know or not came to know. Looking at the police, they made their escape in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so we lied little low, we, then they went completely underground, then uh, surveillance was mounted technically and every 24 hours we were on the system no, locating them and yes, we were successful in locating them, tracing them. The moment we could get their traces, uh, our teams were dispatched from crime branch and from because there were two accused, so definitely it's a joint venture and whenever such offences take place, Crime branch along with local police take, uh, takes the position also because uh, the state of Goa, Goa police is committed to the uh, justice. Thank you. Thank you.